Priorities Project, there's uh, something you can click on to calculate how it's spent, uh, how you know the military and other spending from your own personal federal income tax per year. I come from um, the richest and most populous state in the union, which is, of course, California. Yeah. So, um, what? Um, yeah. And uh, lots of millionaires and billionaires. Yeah. So anyway, uh, how how much do you think? just the state of California has paid for the Iraq and Afghanistan uh, wars. This is wrong. $137.8 billion. Meanwhile, you know, the University of California, which I went to, which was the like gold standard of state universities for a long time, that system has just been plundered. And many qualified young people are no longer, a, you have the grades and everything, can no longer even get into the uh, UC system and, and other schools. So I'm going to pass this around. This, who here has used, like in an action, a vigil, an office visit, who here has used um, handouts for National Priorities Project? Okay, several people. Um, it's a great resource. It's really deep. And I, um, this is one of the main things I want you to take away from this training and also teach other people about. Uh, the National Priorities Project. So um, our tools on the opening site, we are adding in the Israel-Palestine conversation in addition to Iraq and Afghanistan. I think that's it, Dennis. Can you explain how the Palestine Gaza thing feeds into the resolution to end the Iraq and Afghanistan wars? We're saying this is about bringing our war dollars home, and we spend three billion annually on supporting Israel's military, military aid to Israel. And so if it's about our war dollars, what could we buy with that $3 billion instead? Just like, what could we buy with the $47 billion New Yorkers are paying for Iraq and Afghanistan? It's a similar uh, issue. If we could have jobs at home instead of putting Apache helicopters that could attack Gaza. Thank you. Know, you. So. Uh, it, it got started for the same reason that you're all here, because many of us were frustrated with um, how can we get this? How can we get this message out uh, to stop the war? And just thinking about killing turns people off. So many people they just mm -hmm. turn away. But so many people look at their pocketbook. That's the American way. So why the resolution? I believe is what I'm right. to uh, speak to. We in Maine saw the campaign as primarily an educational effort at the grassroots level, uh, aimed at having enough mobilization at the grassroots to pressure the House of Representatives into doing its job, minding the purse strings and, and defunding war. Uh, as a platform for having those conversations with the kind of people that we generally don't have conversations with in our communities, people that aren't active in social justice groups or maybe don't belong to the other kind of community um, groups that we belong to, we were looking at uh, those kind of local governance units, like to bring it down to a very, very small level, my school board. Um, because when you bring something before your school board, the school board itself is probably composed of people that you don't necessarily work with or talk to often. And the people sitting in the audience are generally um, your neighbors. You might be standing next to them in the grocery line, but you probably may not have had conversations with them about these sort of things. Because the resolution is... Um, you know, it's kind of like one of those things they started teaching you about in fifth grade. So everybody's got that kind of feel for how does a bill become a law, or how does our system of government work. It's not threatening to people. And um, one of the things that we kept reminding ourselves was it doesn't matter if the resolution passes or not. Sometimes it does. The city of Portland passed it 7 to 1, and that was Yahoo and Whoopi and cause for celebration. But sometimes it doesn't. But almost always it generates a conversation among um, citizens about what, why are we having these funding problems and where a solution might lie. It